Hi friends, I'm Ken Nelson, a clergy delegate from South Carolina, and grateful for the opportunity to share with you something about the legislation that passed on this afternoon. We began to have some conversation about the mission of the church, and for a long period of time now, we've spoken about the mission of the United Methodist Church is making disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. There was some concern about whether or not we needed to drop the secondary part of that, the transformation of the world, and to simply focus in on making disciples of Jesus Christ. However, after considerable conversation, uh, we moved back in the direction of keeping the two together, for it's our common belief that as we make disciples of Jesus Christ, that indeed lives and the world around us will be transformed. And so we keep together that which we find of personal holiness and social holiness and keeping the witness of the church together and seeing our lives transformed uh, as individuals and corporately as a society. I think our worship at, at General Conference this year has been phenomenal, of bringing in a multitude of voices, of bringing in a multitude of traditions and styles and leads us into different ways of being able to encounter God. Uh, we've had profound speakers who've challenged us to think deeply about what it means to go into the world and to be in ministry. The theme for General Conference is therefore go, and I think it plays right into the mission of the church of what it means to be a sent community sharing the good news of the gospel with the world around us. That's been, um, our worship has also challenged us to uh, encounter others who may be different from ourselves to recognize that our church is indeed global, uh, that what happens in our local community impacts what's going on in the world and what's happening in other parts of the world also informs our understanding of what it means to be the church in our local settings.